Well, she's an author, a speaker, and an award-winning rocket scientist who specializes in helping others unleash the brain's power. It's time to unleash our brain's power on the show. <laughs> Olympia LaPointe joins us next. Hey, grab a pen and a paper because you're going to want to take some notes from our next guest. Cody is standing by with the woman who has been hailed as the new Einstein. I love this. Okay, everybody, quit acting like children oh. and silly. We got we got a real guest in the show right now. <laughs> oh, no. Olympia LaPointe joining us right now to talk a little bit about science and quantum deciding. But first, I want you to tell the story of a 10-year-old you going on a special field trip and how that changed everything. Oh, thank you so much. It is a pleasure to be on your show. Uh, I am an award-winning rocket scientist, and I had a journey to get to that point. And I remember uh, being very young. Uh, it was actually the age of six. I was six years oh. old, and I went to the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. And there I saw the rockets and the engines, and I told myself at that very moment, I wanted to be a rocket scientist. And I went through a lot of trials and tribulations, failing mathematics and, and overcoming a tough educational uh, situation, but at the end of the day, I graduated with my mathematics degrees and later helped uh, keep astronauts safe and launch 28 missions into space. And, and so I'm really happy today to talk to everyone about quantum deciding, which is the decision-making pattern that people make in order to become successful. And it doesn't matter if you're in rocket science or, or starting your business. It's a decision-making science. And so I'm thankful to share that with you today. That story of a little you just being inspired there inspires me so much. It really does. Okay, so uh, can you explain quantum deciding for us? Is it like, is it really a mathematical formula that we can go through for success? <laughs> Well, it is a mathematical formula that I specifically created, but the good news is that you don't have to know the formula. All you have to know is to know the six decisions for success. And the word quantum deciding uh, comes from being able to jump through time to see your answers. So when we jump to the past and coach ourselves through the toughest moments, and then as we look to the future and actually envision what we want in the future, that quantum process allows us to make decisions so we can overcome our fear from the past and gain the steps that we need to go and take in order for us to literally create the future that we want. Fascinating. Okay, that's so fascinating. You got a new book out. Uh, it's mm -hmm. called Answers Unleashed 2. Uh, can I pick it up there or do I need to go to Answers Unleashed 1? <laughs> oh, no, you can actually pick it up at Answers Unleashed 2. And you can start the book. You, it, Although I created the Answers Unleashed series with the first book, Mathophobia, and the second book, Answers Unleashed, and this is Answers Unleashed 2, you can actually pick up the book at Answers Unleashed 2 and start fresh. And it will be exciting for you because I talk about the six decisions that people can make in order to move forward in their life. And once we can learn to master making these six decisions on a daily basis, we're able to make decisions faster, easier, and more fulfilling with what it is that we wanna do. That is so interesting, so interesting. Can we, where can we get the book? Is it everywhere right now? Yeah, the book is on Amazon. It is sold in your local uh, book, tail, uh, book shops and e-retailers. And if you go to answersunleashed.com slash book three, you'll see the book and you can even download it if you want it a fast copy. Awesome, awesome. I'm so glad you're here because we had the lunar mm -hmm. eclipse overnight. I thought okay. it was amazing. I thought it was really cool. My anchorman, John, said it was a meh. As a <laughs> space professional, was it a meh or was it cool? It is cool. Thank you. It is so amazing. Okay, so here's like the geek in me coming out. It is so <laughs> exciting to see science in action, to see space travel, to see e eclipses, to see how our universe works. When we can understand how our universe works and we start to see why certain things happen, it gives us an idea of how we can allow certain things to happen in our own particular life. And I love science. <laughs> <laughs> yes, you do. I yes, am more do. impressed by Olympia. <laughs> than I was by the <laughs> eclipse. Yeah, Olivia, <laughs> you know, you're down. You, you, there needs to be a movie about your life. I mean, yeah. seriously, oh. it would be the most easy thing to write. I don't understand why this happened. Happened. We'll yet. get started on oh, it. Be done in yeah. two years. Thank you. Well, from <laughs> your lips to God's ears, I'm telling you. <laughs> <laughs> Olivia, thank you so much for joining us this morning and sharing your story and your book. It sounds fascinating. It's absolutely fascinating. And thanks for, you know, 
uh, telling John it, it wasn't Matt. It, it was cool. Amazing. It was cool. Yeah. Courtney, back to you. Thanks, guys. Wait, not just rocket scientist, award-winning rocket scientist. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get it right. Yeah, Get it right. Yeah.